good morning children good morning makla how are you all you all are fine okay so we were, we are learning the lesson the king who limped the king who limped in this lesson the king was entering in the his court with the with limping and he was wearing a different type of hat on his head and he was follow and one man was followed by him holding a dog behind him there were two men who were tied in a chain and when he entered into the court he went and sat on his chair or on his chair limpingly when mini prime ministers look prime minister look at him he asks him what happened your highness what happened your highness then why these men are come here because king asks them to sit next to him means on the steps the person who is holding the dog have to sit in at the center and the other on one right on the right side one person on the left side another one then uh, prime minister asks him what is the matter why these persons have come here why you ask ask them to sit right in front of you on the steps then king says these are the persons who were fighting on the street and when i was passing from there so i have brought them here to solve their case then that fight was that fight was going in between do, those two men because of the dog fight was going between them because of the dog the persons were saying the, the first person was saying this dog is mine and the other person was saying this is mine and it was little tricky it was little tricky and mysterious to solve the case then king listens both the side who's say what they are trying to say the first person says the uh, your highness this dog is mine what the first person says this dog is mine and the other person says your highness he is telling lie this dog is mine it is given by my brother then the king becomes more confused and he asked the courtiers to try to solve if they have any solution for their fight then the first courtier ask him are you sure are you serious b then he says are you serious then the second courtier says it's pouring with rain yes then he asks him are you sure is it yours then the person says yes the first neighbor says it is mine and the second neighbor says no no it is mine it is given by my brother in the last august then again king gets more confused then asks for the solution then what the first courtier says we will divide cut the dog divide the dog cut the dog into two pieces and give it to them what they what he says we will cut the dog into two pieces and we will give one piece to him one piece to him then there will be no fight or no problem at all there will be no quarrel between them then king agrees to it and even the first neighbor he also agrees okay i don't have any problem you can do it then the second uh, neighbor what he says no no i can't see my dog cutting into two pieces because i loved it more so you can give it to him i will go my place go to my home then the first neighbor becomes very happy then he says as he said you can give me the dog now the problem is solved you give me the dog i will go to my home then king king gets angry he says first you take uh, catch hold of him he gives the order to his soldiers you catch hold of him and send him to the jail because he is telling lie then the the first neighbor asks him why what why do you why do you punishing me what did i do mistake then he says this dog is that second neighbors it is truly of his because he is feeling sad he to look at the dog by cutting into two pieces so he is the true owner of that dog 
he have to take the dog and go to home and you will be sent to the jail and the, after that king stood, stands up removes his cap and keeps on his chair and comes normally walking to the prime minister do you think now uh, do you can you imitate me right now once again how i how i was walking in the beginning and how i am walking now then prime minister apologizes him he says sorry sir sorry your highness sorry majesty i did a mistake then he says you are not you people are not my real uh, soldiers or real followers so only the person who is true here is second courtier and he says you are going to be a next prime minister in my court and here this is how the story ends so what is the meaning of story or moral of the story is when you are following someone don't follow blindly follow them with a true by after knowing the truth when after knowing the truth you try to follow the others following is not bad but following blindly or imitating others is bad okay children take care we meet in the next class